Well, hello folks. Sam Owens here, and I've got a, a really great little product here that uh, I really like. So far I've only seen uh, where uh, you can get a um, external drive uh, for CDs or DVDs that uh, just play. They're players. This is the first one I've seen that's multifunctional external burner. You can actually burn uh, music or a video to a disc. We're going to demonstrate some of the basics. I cannot give you a course in actually how to do this. I'm just going to do a demonstration of using the product uh, to either play uh, music or video and to record music and video. I'm going to see if I have the time to do it. So. Let's start right off the bat. This is the box. I'm not going to go through opening. This is the unit. Up to the right, you're going to see all kinds of information that I'm going to post that you can look at for all of the ports and uh, how to open it. And on the back, the input. <clears throat> okay, so you get two cords. One is a special one with a uh, type A and a type C and these work together uh, for uh, a particular model as we have right here. This particular one is ORH03-2 and it's going to require this cable. Some others uh, will require a external power cable. You get a, a, a just an actual power cable and uh, this is what we're going to use on my computer. Uh, it's a up-to-date computer. I don't know if this will work on yours. You'll have to look. But you're going to need a uh, Type A uh, port and a Type C that are next to one another. Right here on my computer, I have that. I have a USB Type A and a Type C which this will adapt to. Most of the computers today are coming this way. So if that's not so, then uh, you may not be able to use this. Um, so look at that. Now, I'm going to plug this in and get started right away. The first thing you have to do is plug this in uh, and connect up the, uh, the burner, external player burner. Okay, and I'm going to plug this in to the back right here. This is the front, the back, and there's the port right there. And it'll only go one way. There's a groove in there. I'm going to plug that in and make sure it goes all the way in. Yeah, okay. And now I'm going to open this up. One of the things it says is to plug both of these in simultaneously together. Okay, uh, and I found it's important because sometimes it won't recognize it. So I guide the Type A USB into its slot, and I'm trying to, and plus, these are not, you can't put it this way, which is the way it should be. On mine, it's got to cross over. And so you line the USB A up. Okay, there. And before you plug it in, I line up the C port. I don't know why this is, but this seems to be important because I had problems. Okay, both of them are uh, close to being in, and now I just push them both in together. And let's see what we get. One is the power and the other is the data. I'm going to edit in actually doing and performing the task. Now, there's a button on the front right here. You push it and the tray will open up and you put uh, the CD that you want to listen to. And the CD can have files or it can have music. This has music. Okay, and you can actually uh, burn these files or music on to a recordable disc. Uh, now you're seeing the files 
that are on that uh, CD player or the device that we're looking at. And right here, music. This is a music uh, CD. We're going to play it. I double click on it. And now I can go over here and select all and then play them. So I just double click on them. C-A-D-I-L-L-A-C -L -L Okay, that's the first song, Cadillac Soft Spring, my brother-in-law. Okay, and I'm going to go over here and let it pretend it played all the way through. And now it will go to the next. Well, it should have. Uh, let's see, go to the library. Right here. Evidently, I didn't didn't do it exactly right. Select all, and then we're going to play. I just should have hit enter, and then it will do. That. And now it advanced. When I double clicked on it, it uh, it messed up. Okay. There, that is a CD, and it's playing on our new player, as you see. Okay, now I am going to take that out, and we're going to play a DVD. It will do both. I already have one recorded for you, and this is important. This is a DVD RW, which means read, write. Okay, so I'm going to place this in the, the player burner, and I close it, and right here is my DVD read-write uh, icon that's showing it, and let's see what it does. I'm going to open there. Now, it's asking if I wanted to burn, burn to disc. I always like to burn it as a CD, for a CD player because I want to play it in a CD player. Cancel that. Now, once it's loaded in there, you see there's 4.38 gigs free. Uh, there's nothing on it. It's showing. So I must have, uh, actually, that's not the one. Sorry, that's my blank one. This is the one that I recorded something. It should show you something on there. So let's go now. This is an actual recording. The other is a blank uh, that I'm going to show a demonstration. Okay, there's the video. But uh, I want to show you one thing before. This is what, I uh, close it out and I'll bring it back up. Notice they're showing uh, that their uh, free space is 4.19 gig, total of 4.37. That little blue line right there means that there's uh, media on there. And that's my video. It's a very short three minute video, which we're not going to watch the whole thing. But to watch that, I would just double click on it, and then right here, files currently on the disk. I just double click on that, and this is the actual uh, video. Five channel cable protector. Uh, let me double click on that, and here is the DVD that I'm playing. And that's a product that uh, I did a while back. For a cable ramp and I'm going to close it out and that is pretty much really it okay now let's say that I want to delete that right here and and I'm showing you more than what you really need to know about this this has nothing to do with uh, with the player but it's important if you want to do this kind of stuff uh, show more options and right here, erase this disk. This is the only place you can do this um, with this particular unit. Okay, and I do it. So there, you can see, if you're unfamiliar with this, uh, you've got uh, some research to do. And maybe get someone to help you. But uh, 
Okay, please wait. And it's going through the erasing because this is a read-write, meaning I can erase it and use it again. Okay, and so I just wanted to show you how to do that if you wanted to do this. And see, this is under this PC right here. So there's a lot of things I can't really, I don't have the time to give a tutorial on how to do that. Okay, notice now this is a totally blank video, uh, DVD. There's no data on that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and burn uh, something on there. Now, one of the things you're going to need is Windows Media Player, which is part of Windows. And if yours hadn't been activated, you can find it under right over here and under, just go up here, Windows Media Player, right there, Legacy, and hit Enter, and there it will be. Now, I've, I've already got it loaded. You may not have it loaded. You have to have this or something that will burn, and this has burn and play features. So that's why I'm doing a demonstration with that. Okay, now uh, I want to go and uh, drag uh, a video over that I want to do here. So I'm going to go over here to videos. And I have a DVD uh, disc in here that I just used. And I'm going to go down and take that same video or something small right here. Because it's only three minutes so it will only take a short period of time. This was on that disc and I uh, deleted it. So what I do is I click on it and drag it over here like that. And then I hit burn. Now notice uh, it doesn't have anything up here until I... Okay, there. Now there's my blank disc. I needed that to be up there before I can do it. Now I can drag it over. Okay, so you need to have this up there. The, it took a little time for the uh, CD DVD player burner to connect over. Now, you notice it's it's got a little bit of something on there. Evidently, I didn't get that deleted all the way, but I'm going to start burn, and it's doing it. See, it says burning, 5% completed, and it's going right on through. And so it'll take a few minutes to do, but it's a short video. But this is how you would use this to burn a video onto a, a read-write uh, DVD blank disc. Okay. Now, you see the disc opened up. And now, this has that recording on it. Again, it was blank before, and now I'm inserting it. And now we're going to go, I'm going to close this out, and we're going to see if it'll play it again. So I close her down. She's loading up with the lights blinking. So one of the things you got to do is have uh, Windows Media Player uh, on your uh, computer so that you can do the burns that you need for either music or for DVDs. Okay, now I go over here. Oh, didn't need to. And right now, 11.38. It's 11.40. So I just did this. And there it is again. Same video reloaded after I deleted it. I'm going to close it out. Now we're going to work with music. Let me pause this. Because, see, this is a CDR. I cannot delete it or do anything with it. These two songs are on there, and that's all I can ever have. Uh, so you have to be careful when you're recording songs to put all of the ones you want before you close it out. Okay. Now, let's go and pick a, let me do it again on a new disc, just to show you how I did it. Okay, because this is what, what you want to know.
All right, I take a fresh CDR. It's got a one-time record, and then it's play. Plug that in, and then she's going to blink a little while, and then you wait till she finishes. But I can go over here and double-click on File Explorer, or not double-click, one-click, and let's see. Okay. Yeah, CDs. Okay. It's reading DVD read-write. That must be what it defaults to, but it'll do CDs. And that's usually the thing. Uh, when you have uh, DVD burning capability, it'll always show that, but it'll also do CDs. Okay, so now you see it's nothing's recorded on it. So uh, I'm ready to go and select the music that I want to put on there. So what I do is open this up. Uh, let's see. Okay, I want to make sure I have this clicked and not like a USB flash drive. We want this CD and DVD player. So that'll come up all the time. You want to just close that out. And now you, you can close this out and you want to go to your Windows Media Player right there and you open her up. And now I want to pick my music, which your music should be on the player. Uh, if you don't have any, then you want to uh, put some music there. Okay, I open her up. Actually, uh, no. I don't want to do that right yet. I want to come back down uh, because I have I have it listed on my uh, uh, music files down here in media, uh, File Explorer. So what I need to do is go to music. Oh, let's see, music right here is music. Okay, so I click on music. And right here are my two files. Notice the music sign. So I'm going to put both of those. I click, and then I can hold my control key and click the other. And I'm going to put those two on. I'm going to drag them over to here. So I take my cur uh, mouse, click, and then drag over to here and drop them in. Okay, and uh, I just kind of click here and pause it. Now I'm going to probably have to do it again because uh, I'd forgotten um, something there. Okay, the disc is a CD and it's free. And notice it's making me drag them again. So I just go down here, click on this, and then drag it up here and there's two files there the ones that I did so you see you can have two up at the same time that's why I say there's not enough time as a tutorial to do for this but I'm just showing you the basics okay now they're on there now I can hit start burn and right down here notice it says percentage and it's whirling around and then you're going to see this start to go. Yeah, 2%, 3 And it's, it's shutting off. It's complete. Now we're going to plug in a memory card. Okay, everybody knows these are older type. But there's a slot here that you can plug this in. And it opened it up. And those are audio books. And I close this out and close that out. And now that is the SDHC is right there. So now we have the USB and the SDHC. Can you see the value of this? Now, some people may have these, these type, uh, the TCF, I forget what they are, but you can't uh, put both this and that in you can only use one at a time, either the big one or the little one. So I'm going to take this one out. Notice it disappeared. And now I'm going to put one of these in, in the bottom. 
and you put it upside down, not with the writing up, but upside down, and you push it in there. And there's what's on it. Uh, some books, audio books. Okay, now it says SD card there. But look, if I plug this in, you'll see it will not read it. Nothing will happen because it will only read one or the other. And you do have these type devices that you can use whatever. So that's the limitation of it. You do have another USB over here for anything you might want. Uh, folks, I think I've covered it all. You can see the value of this, I'm sure. And uh, I wouldn't be without one of these now. Uh, this, I see, is really going to be great. I just like all the features about it, and uh, I think you will too. I want to thank you very much for watching my video.